Okay, this is officially the weirdest place I've ever started a video, but welcome to my laundry room. This looks like I'm about to film a different type of video, but I'm not. We're here in my laundry room because I woke up this morning and decided to do some laundry, you know, as one does. Trying to be a good housewife, you know. <laughs> but there's clothes in the dryer, so I started, you know, taking some clothes out of the dryer, folding them, putting them away, and while I was doing that, I found something inside the dryer. A dryer sheet. Yeah. But then, after that, after I found that, I found this. Monies. Two dollars. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Three dollars. Uh-oh. Oh! Let's go. That's a five, baby. That's a five. Eight dollars, right? Yeah, eight. Hang on. Let's keep digging. That's it. That's it. Eight dollars. Now, the real question, did this money fall out of a pair of my pants or my girlfriend Anna's? Either way, finders keepers. And I'm gonna do this. Boom. Add two more to it. That is ten total dollars. And this right here, this is what we're fishing with today. Not like the actual money. We're gonna take it to the store and buy fishing stuff. But <laughs> Also, you can't really tell, but it is raining. It's been raining all night, and I think it might rain all day. So, probably not the best weather to be going fishing, but hey, we're gonna give it a dang. All right, guys, we have made it here to Walmart. I decided to go to Walmart. I was going to go to Academy, but I figured Walmart's going to be a little bit cheaper. And since we're on a $10 budget, it's probably the best place to be. I 1000% ran a red light on my way up here. So <laughs> I did not mean to at all. I was driving and it, it was red. I just kept going. But <laughs> yeah, we we're here. And on the drive up, I was kind of thinking what I wanted to throw. Again, we're going to a pond I've never been to before. And I kind of decided on a few things. So first off, I want to get some sort of bait to cover some water so whether that's a crankbait chatterbait spinnerbait something like that so we're gonna get something like that and then i think we're just gonna go pretty simple get some soft plastics you know different styles different ways to rig it couple different styles of hooks and i think that's about all we need so for this challenge of course i'm gonna give myself a rod a reel and some lines so yeah we just need baits hard baits tackle weights stuff like that so yeah we're gonna go in here take our little ten dollars and try to get us some stuff to fish this pond the pond is literally like two minutes that way hopefully i can find it uh the directions there were no directions on google so i'm just kind of going off of like street names and stuff so we'll see yeah let's go in here let's try to get us some baits go dangle okay whoever did that needs a raise all right here we go so i really want to throw a wacky rig size one 356 oh goodness those are expensive we're already at seven dollars oh rip still want to get something for like a Texas rig maybe some weights so three odd worm hooks 92 cents i think there we go i think that's it that's that's our entire budget right here in my one hand so wow ten dollars does not go too far but hey we're gonna make this work let's go check out yeah. There were so many people in there. It's a Friday afternoon, so like, it's packed. Oh. Well, that was ridiculous. Oh my God, there were so many people in there. And there was also, y'all know like the kids in high school that would have a speaker in their backpack just blasting music for absolutely no reason? There was like a 40 year old man doing the same thing in the same aisle as me. So that took forever because I had to wait for his song to end and like the break between the next song, that's when I had to talk on camera. The little bit I did, that was ridiculous. But we got the stuff, we are completely under budget. We got a Booyah Bait Company Pond Magic white spinner bait this is a smaller spinner bait what is this like three sixteenths ounce that's what i wanted i wanted a smaller one because we're going to a park pond it's in, it's in a park and it's stocked so i'm sure these fish are going to be smaller you know stunted fish so we got a smaller spinner bait to cover some water and then this was the this took up like half the budget wacky rig hooks i wanted i really really wanted some o-rings to like put around like a cinco or something to wacky rig it so that way we could like save on the plastics but they're like three dollars i wasn't spending all that so these we'll just have to do we'll just do it the old-fashioned way straight through the plastic and then we just got some simple bullet weights and three odd arm hooks and that is it and that came into a whopping total of nine dollars and 77 cents so we were still 23 cents under budget and i'm sure you're probably wondering jt you bought hooks and weights for plastics that you don't have where what are you doing the reason i didn't buy any plastics is because i'm gonna make my own yeah if you don't know kelly baits this is my soft plastic bait company i've been making soft plastics for over a year and a half now i figured hey why spend money out of the budget on soft plastics at the store when i can literally make them for free it's technically free to me right now but it's not free to kelly baits but kelly baits is also me so like i'm losing money 
it's free, right? <laughs> it's not going into the budget because I have all the stuff already to do it. But it would be really unfair if I just came in here and made like 30 different packs of baits and used all of those. Then we're going a little too hard, you know? So I'm going to limit myself to two packs of baits. So yeah, for the first set of baits, I'm actually going to experiment a little bit. And I'm going to use a floating plastic. So all the other baits that I've ever made are made with a sinking formula of plastic. So even if you don't add any salt or anything to them, they just naturally sink. This right here, this is floating plastic. So if I don't add any salt or anything, which is a good thing because this is my salt container. But with this plastic, the bait should float. It's not gonna like float on top of the water because it's gonna have a hook in it and that's gonna sink it. But it should sink very, very slowly. I think that's gonna be a game changer when it comes to fishing this pond that I've never been to. Give me more time to just slow down and fish it and really let that bait, you know, just sit in front of that fish's face for as long as possible. Here we go, we don't need too much of it, so. It will go about half a cup. The consistency is almost different. It's almost like more runny, like more milky almost. <laughs> always start low. You can always add time. If you burn it, it's done for, you know, so. And now it's time to pick a mold. So for this, I'm going simple, easy, five inch papaw stick. It's a nice classic stick bait. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with a stick bait, especially in a new pond. And you're just trying to figure out what these fish like, where they're at. And if they're even going to eat. Like I said, it's been raining all night and all day. So, all right, here we go. The plastic is done. And now for the biggest decision, what color? But I don't know the water conditions of this pond. It's been raining all day. But I don't know the water conditions of this pond. I don't know if it's clear, murky, stained, dirty, chocolate milk. I don't know. So I think I'm going to go with something that will kind of work for any of those. Some black grape. Nice, natural, but also dark enough. So that way if it's stained or muddy, fish will be able to see it. Boom, and now, time for the flake. We're gonna go small red. We're also gonna go in with some orange. This is just a variation of red grape, a color that we sell on colorbaits.com. But it's just a bunch of red flake, and I wanted to switch it up, add some orange to it, and it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, and all right, here we go. Time to inject. Oh yeah, that color looks sick, all right. And there we go. Ooh. He tooted. So yeah, we got the papaw sticks done. And now for the next bait. I'm just going to use some plastic I had laying around in the shop. And this color is called chameleon. It's like a color shift. Full to brown to pink. But then when it's in the water, it almost looks like an orange color. It's super sick. For the second bait, we're going to use this mold right here. Which is an unreleased Kelly bait. But it's a crawl. Look at that. It's a crawl with like four different appendages. This is super sick. These are coming to Kelly Bates super soon. But yeah, this is the second bait we're gonna make. We're gonna do two runs of these so that way we have a full pack. And yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll show y'all the finished baits that we made for furry. For, for furry. <laughs> there we go. First pack of Kelly Bates made. Let's get these crawls made. Boom. There we go. Two brand new packs of Kelly Bates. Got those chameleon crawls. Oh yeah. Juicy, juicy, juicy stuff. And that is all we need. $10 budget fishing challenge starts now. We have made it and it looks juicy. Oh dang, it looks juicy. This is back in like a very like rich neighborhood. I feel so out of, out of place. I feel so out of place. But dude, it looks juicy. Let's go. Oh goodness, this looks juicy. I got lost multiple times because we were just going through like back roads on neighborhoods and stuff. By the way, um, rich people confuse me, okay? We're in a fancy neighborhood, all right? And I just seen a man sweep in his front yard like full on shop broom sweeping his grass. Hey, hey, that's a rich people thing, I guess, because I, I don't do all that. All right, dude, this looks so good. I'm so excited. Hey, boys, here we go. Cutting off a spinner bait to tie on the spinner bait we just bought. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact spinner bait, too. So <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That's spinner bait tied on. We're going to start with the spinner bait, cover some water, and see where we go from there. We're going simple, GoPro on the chest, no big cameras. You live on Google Maps. This is why you live on Google Maps right here. I would have never known this was here if I didn't get on Google Maps last night and start doing some research. Oh, yeah. It's starting to rain a little bit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to get wet today, son. We're going to get wet today. Here we go, baby. First cast. We got the spinning rod. We can we can do anything with this. So Oh, it looks juicy. The water, it's, it's dark, but it ain't too muddy. 
I think they're just now getting the rain we had, so this is juicy. You got a leaf. First cast got a leaf. Beautiful. But listen, there's a bunch of channels on YouTube that you can go watch them. You know, get on their $30,000 boats, stare at their $10,000 worth of live scopes all day, and catch a bunch of eight, 10 pounders every other cast. That's not what we do over here, all right? We welcome one pounders. Just listen, a fish is a fish. The thing is, we cannot get hung up. That's what I'm scared of the most. We cannot get hung up. Especially with the spinnerbait, because if we lose it, we lose it. It's gone. But yeah, dude, this is like, this is 99% of people that fish. This is what they're going to do. They're going to go out, one rod, couple baits they got from Walmart, find some random neighborhood pond they found on Google Maps last night, and go try to catch a couple fish. We probably won't break no PBs today, but we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. We're going to get wet. You know, it's going to be fun. Dude, I'm hoping this rain just gets them fired up, you know? By the way, we got a new GoPro. If y'all notice, uh, it should be better quality. New GoPro. We're going hard. Listen, JT Outdoors is back, baby. Forget all that taking months off, not posting. We're not doing that anymore, all right? Just like, oh my God, we got smacked. Oh, we got smacked. All right, we're switching it up. We're switching it up. I can't help myself. That papaw stick we made looks way too juicy not to throw it. There we go. Beautiful Kelly Bates bag. The old five inch papaw. Like I said, we're gonna wacky rig this. All you do, you bend your bait over, find the middle, which is right there, and you just simply stick your hook right through it, and boom, that's the wacky rig. Oh yeah, that's gonna be juicy. That is juicy right there, so. Look at that. Weightless, wacky rig, loading Cinco. That's just, I mean, that's just a recipe. Oh yeah, she's, she's sinking just very, very slowly. That's about what I wanted it to do. Oh, something just ate it. Something just ate it. It, it went right after it. It missed it. How did it miss it? There it is. It's got it. Something's going after it. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to catch this fish. We're going to catch this fish. It's up shallow. Let's bring it in. Oh, no. We're, no, we got hung up. No, come on. Rip. Rip. Now we have to try to freaking jump this creek. Did we just send it? I think we just send it. Oh, we almost went in. He's got it. There's one. There's one. Dude, he came up. That was sick. Dude, where that worm was floating, he came up and just smacked it on the top of the water. Oh my God, he choked it too. He choked it. See that right there? This is why I wanted some O-rings because my worm's gone right in the top of the mouth, just the way you like them. I wanted O-rings because it helps keep your bait on there. If we had O-rings, we would still have our plastic, but hey, first fish in the old neighborhood pond. There we go, baby. Up shallow, almost hit a top water. That bait was just now starting to sink. There we go, fish number one. See you later. Let's go. That's fish number one. I don't expect it to catch anything of size here. It's a neighborhood pond, you know. It's stocked. I'm sure they're all gonna be stunted, but hey, Fish number one, baby. We'll take it. Let's go. Now we got to try to find a way to get back over here to get our bag. Do y'all love the peaceful sound of the highway in the background? Does it just make you want, make you feel like one with nature? Just like that. Let's go. A little red grape variation. Dude, we can, we catch a bunch of fish on this. This might be coming to the Kelly Bates lineup. We already have red grape, but that orange, that orange flake in there, it might do something to it. Dude, this makes me, I wish I would have bought a top water. The way these fish are acting right now, that first fish, he literally like almost ate it all the way on the top of the water. And how calm it is with the rain, damn. Maybe I should have got like a frog or something or a little popper. Yeah, basically with this wacky rig, dude, I'm just fishing slowly. Letting it sink really slow, twitching the tip of my rod, giving it some, some action here and there. Here we go again. Some red worms. Yeah, okay, cool. You're using red worms to fish. Everybody else doesn't need to know that. You're, it's empty and everything, bro. Put your container in a damn bag and go throw it away. I guarantee you, yes, there is. There's two trash cans at the entrance of this pond. So simple. So, so simple. It is such a simple task. Pick up after yourself. All right, guys, we're switching it up just a little bit. We're still throwing the wacky worm, but dude, that floating plastic, it works a little too well like it takes so long for it to sink so i threw one of the bullet weights that we got on there just to help it go down just a little bit faster you know the floating's cool but it's doing it a little too much you know <laughs> i'm trying to get down in there work the bottom oh there's one. Oh my god he dropped it no he dropped it no way he dropped it i think it was little 
I think it was little. He just barely tapped it. Might have even been like a bluegill or something. Good job, buddy. He scared me. He scared me, buddy. Good job. Oh, there's a fish. Yup. 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 Oh, it feels decent, too. Oh, it feels decent. Oh, it feels decent. Please be decent. Please be decent. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. It's a catfish. It's a catfish, bro. What? What? It's a bullhead. Yo. A bullhead catfish. Are you serious right now? What? That's not what I expected to catch at all. Is that a bullhead? Maybe it's just a really dirty channel. I think it's a bullhead though. A lot of bullheads have that like yellow tint to them. Who put these in here? That's what I want to know. God, I did not want to get my hands slimy today, but here we are. Fish number two, I guess. <laughs> oh, how am I going to get this out? Damn, I should have brought pliers. That was not easy without pliers, but there we go. <laughs> See you later. Hey, the old papaw stick catches whatever, especially wacky rigged. Goodness, that's not what I expected at all. I think it's a fish is a fish. We'll take it. Damn, I was really hoping that was like a three, four pound freaking bass but hey fish number two <laughs> second species we'll take it i went catfishing one time now the catfishes love me i guess we are not gonna be frying that boy up <laughs> um there's a pond over there there's a whole nother pond. what yo okay so when i was looking this up on google maps i was reading like some like comments and stuff like that and I did see somebody say that there was two ponds. I was looking around, I was like, I don't see another pond unless it's like down the trail or something. It is right there. So we're gonna go grab the other two dead batteries that I got <laughs> and go fish the other one. Dude, what? I didn't even, I, I completely forgot about that comment. So you'll see we can't get hooked up on the second pond. Let's go. Bro, I feel like I just discovered an entire new world. Oh my goodness. There's docks. There's an island out there. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I wish my GoPro was charged. We would spend the rest of the day out here. That is so sick. Look at this. Wow. Telling you, Google Maps, guys. <laughs> Google freaking Maps. Never, never knew this place existed at all until last night. Then this morning, I know it might have seemed like I set it up, but I swear I found money in the dryer. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's just speaking to me. We got to go do a challenge. That's why my GoPro and stuff's dead because I didn't even charge it overnight or anything. This is really sick. This, this right here, these two ponds deserve a full day. You know, a full day of actually going hard, seeing what we can get out of here. I legit just had a fish eat my line. He came up and hit my line, bro. The more I fish these, the more I realize I should have got a damn top water. <laughs> I should have got a top water. He got it. He came up and got it. Little guy. Little guy. Followed it all the way up to the bank. This is these are the fish that are in here. Definitely. Cause they're just they're not the smartest. They're coming up, hitting lines, stuff like that. Little guys. This is exactly what I expected to come out of these ponds though. Little stunted stocked fish but hey we take it around here son that is fish number three let's go appreciate you buddy all right well i was going for a graceful release but that works too all right there we go fish number three followed it off of the island so there's that island over there he followed it pretty much all the way up right to the bank y'all probably caught it on camera this is really cool really really cool two ponds back to back like this I'm sure there's probably some big fish in here. All right. I think that's going to do it. That wasn't too bad, bro. That was a lot of fun. But all right, guys. That is going to do it for exploring the new pond. The $10 money fountain in the dryer. 
All right, <laughs> fishing challenge. This was a lot of fun. You know, I love finding new ponds, finding new fisheries, exploring them, and then bonus catching a couple fish. Got two little bass and a freaking catfish somehow. <laughs> it was a fun time. It was a cool little challenge. So if y'all want to see me do more of these, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'll definitely be back. We'll definitely be back. Maybe even this weekend, I might even bring Anna do a little boyfriend versus girlfriend challenge or something like that, you know? Because this, I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel like there's fish in here to be caught. And we're going to try to do it. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. JT, and I'm out.